thought it was pretty emotional to watch this movie. So I was just wondering for you, was it nostalgic to go back into that place again? Yes, it really is nostalgic. Um, see, once you put on that hat and adapt a certain kind of walk in Philadelphia, it's as though you're in a time warp. But yes, it's very nostalgic in a good way. That's good. You were talking yesterday. I was at the press conference, and you were talking about when you started out that you you said you managed the art of poverty or something like <laughs> it that. Is. It's true. You just know. <laughs> in New York, I used to make thirty nine dollars a week, and this is in nineteen seventy two. That's not much. So you really learn. Okay, I can afford. Up some cottage cheese and one raw egg. You, know, you, you eventually <laughs> figured out how to get along with like that. Is it true that you, it went to the point you stayed at a bus station? I read that somewhere online. Oh yeah, sure. Wow. Actually, I, I'm selling the coat because I can't stand it anymore. Such a bad room. I had this one coat, and that coat literally was my house. And I would sleep at the bus station, Port Authority bus station, or outside the post office in the dead of winter. And boy, it was cold. Wow. That coat saved my life. <laughs> Old sheepskin coat from Afghanistan. <laughs> so you have obviously a lot of physical strength and I think emotional strength. Do you, I mean, you have to go through so much pain to like have the body that you have now and that you had. Do you kind of like the pain part of things or do you, what kind no, of relationship no, of do you course, have to? I, I hate the pain because it, it gets worse as you get older because you, you, you do things that the body is not meant to do. And, but you just have to go to war with it. You just say, okay, this is just, I have to accept this and just deal with it. And that also deals with creativity. There's a point where you're not getting it. The, the ideas are not coming. And if they are coming, they're not that interesting. And you start to be beat up on yourself, you start, it starts to become a painful process writing because nothing's working. You just got to keep going. You got to keep going. And, and, and I hate the process. People say, oh, writing is wonderful. Writing is like having your fingernails pulled out. It's hard because <laughs> when it's not working, it's torture, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, show me a healthy looking writer. You know, they're just they're, they're in their head. Uh, yet, what comes out of there is so, when it's done well, it's really their soul. I mean, they, they, that's why writing to me is by far the hardest of all the arts, I think. So how do you stay in shape now? Because you look like so, you look so oh, really? good. Oh, yes, you okay. do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to say it's a matter of economics, but it's not. It's just habit. It, it's uh, if I start to fall apart physically, it, it affects me mentally. I think one one uh, uh, helps the other, and so it's all part of just being um, gentle to yourself. Your, your body is your car, and you're not going to sit there and let your car fall apart and get all rusty and dented. So you might as well do the same thing with your body. You don't have to go to the gym every day. You can do it in your house, just a little bit. And it just makes you feel like, ah, oh, okay, I did something today. I don't care if it's two minutes, one minute, 10 seconds, just something. It looks like you more do more than that. <laughs> hey, hey, okay, at least I did something. Thank you so much.